Hello, everybody. We are at Lowe's. I'm with Kronk, the husky, walking off leash in the aisles. <laughs> it's come a long way. Following my pace, following my direction, going every, against every fiber of his being not to pull and run away as huskies are known for. But yes, even he got to the point where he's making trips to public stores with me and not Josh off leash. So right now we're just practicing healing in the aisles, listening. We're gonna make it up to the main aisle where we're gonna practice a long down stay. Good boy. I'm actually really uh, impressed. We had a nice car ride. He holds it down for the whole ride. Respects the threshold before coming out. That's something you really want to keep up once you're home. Don't let him sit up. Don't let him stand up in the car. Don't let him start bolting out of the car. It really makes a difference overall. Good. I'm just making sure he's following me. And I'm, um, the thing I'm most looking at is his attitude. Like, is he willing to follow? Is he willing to listen? Good boy. We're gonna go into one of these aisles here. Practice a down stay and a recall. I stop, he stops, good. Stay. I love, well he thought about it. I love that he's putting himself in a down. <laughs> that is the coping skill, no, for the stay. Okay, I corrected him there, I'm at a 16. Nope, down. Now we have something to work on. Every time he pops up, I'm clicking. And I'm not just clicking once, I'm clicking the whole time until he's back down. Okay, because that stay, we want really solid. The only reason that he would not stay is if he didn't think he was gonna be held accountable. So after a couple, what was that, three or four times, now he's committed much better. Okay, and the practicality of this is endless. I mean, you can use this around your house, you can use this in vet waiting rooms, the car, your living room, cafe, backyard. If you even want to take him shopping, just put him in a stay and you don't always have to have him at the end of a tight leash. Good boy. Nice, when he shifts his hip like that, that's really committing. He's saying, I might be here a while. Very good, good boy. He's just not used to listening and he's two years old. He's been through multiple homes. I doubt he's ever been to a store like this. Good, I'm showing I'm proud of him. Thumbs up, good boy. Good. We're gonna practice a recall and then we'll make our way up to the front. There's somebody coming, so we're gonna to go to the next aisle. Heel, let's go buddy, heel. Come on, good. I keep tapping my tone until he uh, joins up with me in a heel. Good. There's somebody coming down that aisle, so we're gonna practice our recall in this one. Stay, let's see if he makes the same mistake. Much better this time, even more commitment. So you can see how, if your dog is struggling, make sure you're working them through it release them for a little while and then repeat that to see if they say, make the same mistake. They probably won't. They're not gonna keep doing what doesn't work. So this time he goes into an auto double down because he's like, oh, last time that I made mistakes, she always corrected me and put me back. And this time I'm just gonna listen to her. Normal for them to test the boundaries, all right? Let's try a recall. Come, good boy, hi buddy right to me good job buddy look at that position nice work and then we're going to gather our leash and go up to the main entrance so leash in your left hand you're going to tap the tone button and start walking heel and then from there you're going to press the button like right now he's out of position so i'm pressing guiding back and releasing oh um most of the time, you're going to have to address that position is going to be in the first minute of your walk. Mm -hmm. 
nice work. We're gonna be walking past all of these people up here. Okay, clicking here. I don't want him going ahead of me. Good, and then I stop clicking once he's behind me. He's actually made such great progress. It's easy to forget, but he used to get up on his hind legs, wrap his paws around the leash and bite it. And he actually shredded a leash in half the first week here doing that. So just the fact that he's not doing that anymore is like so great. Why is he not doing that anymore? Because he figured out it doesn't work. It doesn't work. We're never gonna give in. Click there. Click here, getting ahead of me. Chihuahua back there. Cute. Nice. I love this position. So I have to be really consistent with enforcing this. He's not going to do it on his own. Hey, John. Hello. Come on, bud. Down. Okay, I'm going to click right here because I told him to down. He didn't. Down. Which is normal because we have people walking around. We're in a store. They usually test it if you bring them out into public. I clicked it a couple times. I went from a 17 to a 23. Now he's down. So now we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes as the people come and go, just to make sure he's capable. Busy morning. Nice job, Kronk. Good boy. If you're ever doing this yourself, an added layer of safety is just to step on the leash. Not that he needs it, but sometimes it helps other people feel more comfortable. Good job. Nice work. And we've got people walking over. I can walk away from him. Good job. Still getting the hang of that stay. <laughs> Good boy store greeter. Nice job. All right, I think this is too easy for him. We're gonna go ahead and walk out. Good boy, buddy. I'm gonna gather my leash. Um, say heel, tap the tone, and start walking. Heel, good boy. Click, address my position. Good job, buddy. Proud of you.